Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm going to explain about the type of losses. So the you have a normal loss, okay, abnormal loss and abnormal gain. So the first one is normal loss. What is normal loss? So loss is the level of losses expected in the processing operation and it is unavoidable, okay, such as the loss of weight due to evaporation or melting. You expect, so you expect these losses to occur in the production process and it is expected under the normal operating condition. And then these losses which is inherent in the processing operation and it is determined based on past experience. That means how do you know you're going to incur that losses? So based on your past experience previously, you incur that amount of losses in the production operation. So that losses that you expect and it is determined based on past experience that is called as your normal loss. So since the losses arises from the nature of process, so the cost of such losses, so the cost is included as part of the cost of production. That means, what about the cost of that normal loss is going to bear the cost of that normal loss. So the cost of that normal loss will be borne by the good units. Good units means the, the, the production, the good, the output that is good that you can sell later on or you can pass to the next, uh, next process. So that is known as the good units. Okay, for your normal loss, uh, there are two types of it. One is without, uh, no, without any scrap value and the other one with a scrap value. Okay, if your normal loss have a, a no scrap value, then the good production units will absorb the losses and the normal loss become part, part of the uh, production cost and it will increase your cost per unit. For example, if your cost per unit uh, is two ringgit, now because of uh, that good unit has to has to incur that uh, portion of that losses. So the good units, uh, the CPU now becomes a two ringgit and twenty cent. For example, okay. And then a uh, normal losses having scrap value. If uh, it has a scrap value, it will reduce your cost per unit. Later on, I will show you an example whereby you can see when your scrap value, uh, when your losses, your when your normal loss has no scrap value, and when your normal loss having uh, some scrap value, what's uh, what happens to your cost per unit or your CPU? Okay. So this is the treatment for your normal loss. So you will debit the normal loss account, credit the process account and with the amount that you receive, you will debit your cash and credit your normal loss. You will understand this better later on when we do the accounts. Okay, the next one of the loss that you have is the abnormal loss. What is abnormal loss? This is when the actual production loss is uh, more than the normal loss. Uh, loss or when the actual output is less than the normal output. Okay, such losses are unexpected because you see the normal loss just now, you expect that to occur in that production process. Whereas if you have abnormal loss, this one, this one is the losses that you do not expect. Be, uh, because you do not expect this to occur. And then uh, this loss is controllable. Okay, and then they should not be charged to the production. Uh, what's the causes of this abnormal loss? So this is uh, arises due to the abnormal conditions such as the carelessness of the workers. Maybe there is, uh, there is an accident, there were to be any plant breakdown. You are using a substandard input or substandard materials that causes you to incur that particular losses. So if you have these particular losses, that losses should be investigated and maybe you can think of uh, corrective actions and steps should be taken to prevent that from occur uh, again, okay? And then what about the, the cost of that losses? The such losses has to absorb full share of process cost since it is not absorbed by the good units, good units or good production. So how should you treat that in the account? So you will debit the abnormal loss account, credit the process account. If there is no scrap value, you will debit the statement of profit or loss and uh, credit the abnormal loss account. With any scrap value, you will debit your cash, credit your statement of profit or loss and credit your abnormal loss account. Later on, when, you, we, when, you see the, when we look into the uh, uh, examples with the figures, then you will understand this better. The third one is if you have abnormal loss, then you will have abnormal 
gain. This is the opposite of your abnormal loss when the actual loss less than the normal loss or the actual output is more than the normal output. So you will have abnormal gain. So it is always 100% completed. Why? Because abnormal gain from the output will be processed completely and that will be passed to the next process. So the cost is computed on the same basis as the good production unit. So this is the treatment for your abnormal gain. You will debit your process account, credit the abnormal gain account. Next, you will debit your abnormal gain and credit your normal loss and your statement of profit or 